Pharmaceutical drugs are being prescribed more than ever to both humans and animals. In the United States, over 70% of adults use some form of prescription medication. It was only in the 1990s that researchers found out that these could have a significant impact on the environment thanks to improper disposal or chemicals entering the water through our bodily waste. These drugs are incredibly helpful to humans, but they can have devastating effects on the world's ecosystems. Number 10. Contaminates water. While current sewage management systems remove a lot of waste from water, there are no sewage plants equipped to filter out chemicals from drugs. After leaving treatment plants, sometimes the water re-enters bodies where we get our drinking water from. There are cases of treated municipal sewage being released into waterways all over the world. In 2002, the U.S. Geological Survey tested 139 rivers in 30 states. They found 80% of them contained traces of pharmaceuticals, hormones, and steroids. Many of these drugs are also found in our drinking water. The good news is that the levels aren't high and the chemicals in the water they are not harming us. However, it is a growing concern for experts, as research into pharmaceuticals in the water was only started 10 years ago. The long-term effects, therefore, are still unknown. Number 9. Makes marine life more reckless one of the most commonly prescribed medications are antidepressants, with 13% of American adults having a prescription. This means that a lot of drugs are entering the water system, and researchers were curious as to how this would affect shrimp. In a lab, researchers exposed shrimp to a small amount of fluoroxetine, which is one of the main components in antidepressants like Prozac. In the ocean, to avoid predators and stay safe, shrimp tend to hide away in darker places. However, after slight exposure to fluoroxetine, the shrimp became much more reckless. They were five times more likely to go out into bright open areas. If this were to happen in nature, it would make the shrimp much easier prey, which could devastate their population. Number 8. Makes aquatic life more aggressive In a lab, researchers introduced a small amount of antidepressants to water that housed cuttlefish. Despite their name, cuttlefish are mollusks, so they're similar to squids and octopuses. Researchers put a shrimp, which is what cuttlefish eat, in a test tube and dipped the end of the tube into the water. The cuttlefish that weren't exposed to the drugs gave up trying to get the shrimp when they realized they couldn't get through the tube. However, the ones that had been exposed to the drugs were much more aggressive and wouldn't stop trying to get the shrimp, wasting a lot of energy in the process. When they tested the antidepressant on crayfish, they found that males exposed to antidepressants would fight longer and their mortality rates went up. Number 7. Can be devastating to zooplankton if anything in an ecosystem goes wrong, it can cause a devastating ripple effect. One species that's a major part of the foundation of freshwater ecosystems are zooplankton. These microscopic plankton eat algae and then, in turn, fish eat them. If their numbers are depleted, algae would overgrow and fish mortality rates would go up. So a researcher at the University of Wisconsin-Madison performed a number of tests on Daphnia, a genus of zooplankton. She put the Daphnia into water with environmentally relevant concentrations of fluoxetine, a cholesterol-lowering drug, and five common antibiotics. At first, she subjected the Daphnia to one drug at a time. She found that with the antidepressants, the Daphnia had more offspring. When exposed to antibiotics, the Daphnia lived longer. While these initially sound like good things, both would upset the zooplankton in an ecosystem. However, when they were exposed to a mixture of the antidepressant and the cholesterol drug, she found that 90% of the plankton died. Further, when they did have offspring, they were mostly female and mostly deformed. The cholesterol drug didn't have much of an impact on its own, but when it was mixed with just one other drug, the effect was devastating. Number 6. Feminizes Marine Life Hormonal contraception, a birth control method, adds estrogen and progestin into the user's body. After the body uses the estrogen, it leaves through waste. So while hormonal contraception is helpful to humankind, it can be devastating to ecosystems. A researcher at the University of New Brunswick added a little bit of estrogen to a test lake. Shortly after, male fathead minnows started to develop eggs. Due to the feminization of the minnows, their population plummeted to just 1% of what it had been before. The lake trout, which ate the minnows, had their numbers drop as well, while insects, the minnow's source of food, had a population increase. When the estrogen was removed from the system, the population of minnows replenished to the numbers that they had before. Number 5. Contaminate Soil It's believed that hundreds or millions of farmers around the world use human sewage for fertilizer and wastewater to irrigate crops. In fact, more than half of the treated sewer sludge from American waste facilities is used as fertilizer. The U.S. Geological Survey did research on soil after it had been fertilized. They found traces of pharmaceuticals, cleaners, cosmetics, perfumes, and chemicals from soaps. 
One of their worries is that these traces didn't stay on the top layer, but could be found as far down as seven feet below the surface. When chemicals get that deep, they can affect water sources, which adds even more chemicals to contaminated drinking water. Number 4. Alters Plant Growth with 30 million prescriptions written every single day, diclofenac and ibuprofen are two of the most widely used drugs in the world. Researchers at the University of Exeter wanted to see how traces of these painkillers affected the growth of different plants. They found that the drugs affect vegetables in very specific ways. For example, when radish roots are treated with diclofenac, they have growth problems. Ibuprofen, on the other hand, had an impact on the early development of roots of lettuce plants. It's important to note that this is preliminary research, and the study used one drug at a time. In biosolids, the crops are exposed to a number of different chemicals from drugs. It's still unclear what impact they'll have on crops and the people and animals that eat them, especially when the chemicals are mixed with pesticides. Number 3. Almost wiped out three species of vultures in the United States alone, the animal pharmaceutical industry is worth hundreds of billions of dollars. While the FDA and other federal regulators have deemed treated animal meat safe for human consumption, it can pose a far greater danger to ecosystems. In the late 90s, three species of white vultures were dying off in large numbers in South Asia. In 2002, researchers did a study in Pakistan and discovered that the cause was the anti-inflammatory drug diclofenac. This had been given to cattle in order to reduce fevers. The researchers believed that these vultures ate the carcasses of cattle that had died after being given the drugs, which caused them to get kidney failure. Diclofenac was responsible for wiping out 95% of the three species, which were put on the critically endangered list after that. With such a fast decline in numbers, a number of ecological problems emerged. Animals like feral dogs and rats, which compete with vultures for carcasses, were able to flourish. Unfortunately, they're natural reservoirs for disease as well. Without the vultures to keep their numbers in check, it's increased their chances of spreading diseases like rabies and even the bubonic plague. Number 2. Possible Link to Prostate Cancer Doctors at Princess Margaret Hospital in Toronto found that countries with high rates of women using oral contraception also have men with high prostate cancer mortality rates. But they didn't find a significant link with other forms of contraception, like condoms. Also, there was no difference between rich and poor countries. The pill is the cheapest form of birth control, so it's used all around the world. Razors in hormonal levels being linked with cancer is certainly nothing new. Birth control pills already have a significant link to breast cancer. The researchers believe that while only a small amount of estrogen is passed into the system via urine, there are so many women that have taken birth control since the early 80s that has caused low-level environmental damage to both food and water sources. However, the researchers also pointed out that they're not exactly sure what the cause and effect is, and they don't want to encourage women to stop taking the pill. Number 1. Antibiotic-Resistant Pills People are becoming more resistant to antibiotics. This is especially true in places like China and India, where most antibiotics are produced. These facilities don't exactly have the highest standards for waste disposal, and chemicals from drugs get into the drinking water. Livestock and fish ingest this water, and then we eat them and build up more of a resistance. Since the discovery of penicillin in 1928, 100 classes of antibiotics have been discovered, but no new compounds have been found since 1987. Bacteria are constantly evolving to resist antibiotics, which means that we're quickly running out of effective ones. It's thought that having antibiotics in the water is only speeding up this resistance process. Resistance to bacteria is already becoming a big problem in Europe, and scientists believe it's only a matter of time before we live in a post-antibiotic world. At that point, even common infections could become deadly. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, if you're looking for something else to watch right now, why not check out my other channel, Biographics? Find a link to that on the screen now. And as always, thank you for watching.